G'day trendsetters, coming to you today with an unboxing and quick look at the outstanding features of the Factor Bikes Ostro Gravel, if the large box to my right isn't a clue. Factor Bikes refer to the Ostro Gravel as the All Road All Star. It's a speed merchant gravel bike designed to have you travel across any type of road no matter how smooth or dodgy, as rapidly as possible. In fact, the bike inside this box gathers many of its cues from the ultra racy Factor Ostro Vam, a super aero road bike in the Factor Bikes lineup. Except that you get up to 700C by 45 millimeters of tire clearance. That's enough claptrap. It's time to get the Ostro Gravel unboxed and see how it looks. Whatever you do, don't chuck the bike into the pool. This is an interesting box. It's one of those, oh yeah, top loader type designs. Also, g'day to my good mate, Sean, AKA Sully at Factor Bikes headquarters. You bloody Tasmanian legend, you. Right, let's uh, let's get everything out of the box here. Don't fret, trendsetters. I'll cover the details in a moment, all the specs and so on. I have to say, this beats the pants off the usual packing jobs I have to deal with when you unbox these bikes. Of course, these are serious first world problems. Hello again, trendsetters, and here we have the lovely Factor Bikes Ostro Gravel unboxed and stating the obvious, this bloody bike is fast as to sitting here by the pool. Hello Tuesday, I have not configured the bike regarding the seat post height and possibly the stack, the spacer height on the handlebar, but I'll sort that out later on. Stating the obvious, this bike has been aero-optimized, which I think is an understatement. Factor has spent all manner of time tweaking all of the tube profiles, particularly around the head tube, to make this bike as slippery as possible, despite having 700C by, in this case, 40 millimeter gravel tires. But as I mentioned earlier, it'll take 700C by 45 millimeter tires. All of those niceties will help you glide through the wind, hopefully with a little less effort. And this beautiful carbon frame and fork and a ton of other components is arguably one of the lightest carbon gravel frames on the market today with a claimed weight of around about 900 grams, which I'm assuming is for the size 49. This is the size 52. One thing is for certain, you really need to have your bike fit dialed in, your bike sizing dialed in, all of that because of the highly integrated nature of this bike. Feel free to swing by the factorbikes.com website and check out the geometry chart of this bike. It's not the typical geometry chart you'd expect with the top tube length and head tube length and so on, which now has me shift my attention to the front end of the bike. The cockpit is by those boffins, aka really smart people, of black ink. They're known for their aero prowess and this aero handlebar, well, everything's hidden inside. They have not exactly screwed around with the spec on this bike. Inside the headset, the headset bearings are ceramic speed bearings. I was going to mention, if you're going to spend this sort of money and time with a really full-on aero type gravel bike, high zoot bearings in the key points of the frame are definitely worthy of your consideration. And I expect there'll be many years of service, maybe forever, with this particular configuration. Continuing the theme of the cockpit, but at the rear end of the bike, we get a seriously aerodynamic seat post. The clamping mechanism fitted to the Factor Ostro is one of the better I have seen. And of course, there is a plus with this aero-shaped seat post. There's no way you can ever, ever get it off center. Over to the drivetrain, it is SRAM's very well proven ETAP Explore Access, the red variant, the top tier offering. Now it's the 12 speed version, not the super secret 13 speed version we've seen floating around on the internet that 
Tram may confirm or deny exists. That point aside, I have conducted a review of this group set. It is linked in the description below and the little box on screen. Fantastic group set. This bike is so high zoot that the crank set also comes with a power meter to measure your finest of efforts. Stating the obvious right there, it's a one by drivetrain paired to SRAM's excellent Explore 10 to 44 cassette. Whilst the Factor Ostro isn't exactly designed for bike packing, more pure speed, they haven't forgotten about some of the important little features that I like for attaching items to your bike. So on the top tube, you've got my favorite mount, the bento box mount, the top tube mount if you prefer. You've got the bottle cages on the usual places you would expect on the down tube and C tube. And beneath the down tube, you have the option of what I like to call the cow catcher position. It's a place I'd mount perhaps some spares in a bottle cage, that sort of thing. Not really a bottle for drinking from. Just above the cow Catch a position is the bottom bracket, and once again, a ceramic speed bearing set. They have not spared too many expenses. In other words, Factor isn't exactly f***ing about with the spec on this bike. Yes, it's racy. Yes, it's fast. But so many companies forget those little details, especially with the higher price points they're demanding. So chapeau the factor for thinking of those smaller details. Over to the wheels, and they are once again by Black Ink, namely the Black Ink 34. 34 representing the depth in millimeters of this rim. The internal rim channel is 25 millimeters. This wheel set is optimized for tires from 32 millimeters up to 43 millimeters. Of course, you can easily jam in 45s if you are so inclined. And the ceramic bearing madness welds also in in each of the hubs. You can learn more about the Factor Bikes Ostro Gravel at the factorbikes.com website, along with the rest of their bike range. So there you have it, Trendsetters. My first quick look video at the Factor Bikes Ostro Gravel, a very speedy gravel bike designed for you to have fun hauling ass around the countryside, whether you're racing or having a nice time with your mates or by yourself. Between now and the review video appearing, I like to post teaser images of my review bikes and other goodies as those reviews roll along. So it might behoove you to like, follow, subscribe, all those good things, to grab a cyclist social media entity such as Facebook, Instagram, and of course, this very YouTube channel. With that said, it's time to wrap it up. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for interesting product reveal videos such as this one. No bullshit gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and my favorite, it's so close to my heart, General Madness. Hey. hey as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.